Port Adelaide versus St Kilda at the Adelaide Oval. It was the Anzac round. It was a Friday night. And how do I explain the match that I just watched? I was there live. It was a bitter, sweet match, that one. Bitter, sweet. That's what it tasted like. A bitter, sweet match. Oh, that was the Port Adelaide victory last night. So let's uncap the match. Let's go through it. That first quarter was like watching two bottom eight teams play. I'm not convinced Port is a top eight team yet. Really, I'm not. I, I can't see it with those skills. I don't know what it was, but they just couldn't mark the ball. They were just dropping the mark. Every, every one of them were dropping the mark. I was there. It didn't seem that dewy out there or wet or slippery or whatever word you want to use. But simple marks. They, they kept dropping it. Maybe you need to go to the live tournament that's on and go buy yourself one of those Mason Cox gloves. You know those golf clubs that he wears so you can mark the ball? Those grip gloves that he's wearing? Maybe you guys should consider that because it was such a frustrating first quarter. They both sides, St. Kilda won't make the top eight after that. I, I can't see them making the top eight. Port Adelaide, you've got to do a lot better. They started to do a lot better in that second half and started to lift their game, but I'm not, I wasn't too impressed. So let's go through what was bitter and what was sweet about that match. Let's look at the bitter stuff. Injuries. How many injuries did we get? Like, we, I don't think we'll, we weren't had a single play on the bench in the last 12 minutes of the game. Let's start off with Aaliyah. Got done with a sling tackle by St Kilda player. You know what? You'll be two to three weeks watching your team St Kilda play the next three weeks, mate, because that was a dangerous sling tackle. Aaliyah got concussed. He won't be playing next week in the showdown. So that's one lucky one for you to the Crows. Then this man gets injured. Jarred his knee, did his knee. I don't know what it was. He's just come back. Well, not just, but he's only a couple of games in after that suspension early in the year. Didn't look good. He was holding his knee. Sam Palpepper, I hope you're doing well. It just was bitter. It was just a bitter, everything was bitter about it. Do you think it could get worse? Of course it got worse. We lost our main man. We lost him. He got injured. Is that... I hope you're right, Connor. I don't, hopefully it's not a bad hamstring. There's some saying it's hamstring. Some say it's a quad injury or thigh injury. I don't know what it is. He came off for a bit doing some work on him, then they put him back on, he just couldn't play out, they had to take him out, we lost our captain, our captain was down, but you know what, the ship kept sailing, the ship kept sailing, even though our captain was down, it was this man here, 200th game, sorry, 100th game, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here, 100th game for Zach Butters, he did okay for his 100th, he wasn't the best on ground, but he did all right. So those were the bitter aspects of the game, Simple things, couldn't mark the ball, and injuries. Now, I know what St Kilda are going to say. Port Adelaide got an extra 15 free kicks that game. The umpires helped you. Let's be quite clear, you St Kilda sooks, right? Let's look at two things here. We had four players down, right? Four players down. And not we're not talking about B-grade players. Four of our top 22 A-grade players were out. And not only that, it's not too long ago when you played Collingwood. Go look at your free kick, free kick count when you versed Collingwood and see who helped you win that game. But, so I don't want to hear this about umpiring. It, you're not a top, top eight team anyway, so don't worry about it. And one of your best players is going to be spending a couple of weeks on the sidelines. So now let's look at what was sweet. What was the sweet aspect? Even though we lost our captain, we kept going, but I'll tell you right now, there are two players that won us that game. People online were talking about Jace Burgoyne. He played the game of his life. I was watching it. Jace Burgoyne, he did all right. He did his role. He wasn't even marked. He, he, most of the time, he was free. He was playing on the wing, played a bit of defense, played up forward. He was a bit of a swing player. He did okay. 
But the sweet, what won us the game? This man here. This man here won us the game. Along with my other mention that I'll get to. This is why we need to play him every week. I know they managed him last week. And what happened when we managed him? We got slammed by Collingwood. Charlie Dixon kicked four goals. We would have lost the game if, if we didn't play him. He was strong in his contested mark. He kicked some great goals. If you want to make top four Port Adelaide, this is your key player. This is your key player. I know he's getting old, but you need his presence up forward. George Yardis, he did all right. Kicked a couple of goals himself. Marshall was a bit quiet, but I tell you right now, if you're not playing him, you're vulnerable. You're vulnerable. Charlie Dixon, second best player to last night. But let's talk about the sweetest of the sweetest things on Friday night. Ivana Soldo was injured. Knee injury. Needs a bit of a clean out. Probably three, four weeks, up to maybe six weeks, he's going to be on the, on the sidelines. But you know who our best player was that night, Friday night? It was our Ruckman we picked up from Bulldogs, Jordan Sweet. Jordan Sweet was our sweet victory Friday night. He dominated in the, in the right. Let me pull up his stats. Let me pull up Jordan Sweet's stats. Let's see what he did. 36 hit outs, 11 disposals, and six tackles. This is a guy that's hardly played any AFL. Bulldogs weren't playing him because they had arguably the number one ruckman in, in English. So he couldn't get in. But with Ivana Soldo out, and Soldo's been playing excellent this year, don't get me wrong, we did great with, with, with our recruitment for the Rucks. But Jordan Sweet, well done. You, you, got, you got my votes last night. You got my three Brownlow votes. What a sweet, sweet, sweet Ruckman. I, I can't say more. It was, it was frustrating. There's aspects, we, you know, we, we kept going. We had that Anzac spirit. Even though we had our soldiers down, our captain down, the rest of the team lifted. Dixon, Sweet especially. Burgoyne, you did your part. I'll give you that, Burgoyne, even though I wasn't too much impressed with you at the start. And I, you know, it, but I'll give it to you. I read the comments. I re-watched the replay. And you did well. You did well. So that's, that's the game, St Kilda. You know, we're doing okay in the season. We're still we're still in the top eight. Rosie, hopefully it's not too bad, mate, because we need you. But let's... Oh, I forgot to mention one more. Our number one draft pick, Jason Horn Francis. What were your stats, Jason? Let me pull your stats up. Jason Horn Francis, where are you? Oh, you did not too bad. 20 touches, six marks, and two tackles. But, oh, Ollie Wines. Let's look at these stats. 23 touches, five marks, Nine tackles and a goal. Zach Butters on his 100th. What were, what were your stats here? 27 possessions. That's that's a decent effort, Zach. Five marks, three tackles, and one behind playing in the midfield. And I just want to see what Jace Burgoyne was. Jace Burgoyne um, playing on the wing. 27 disposals, eight marks, and four tackles with a behind. Actually, that's yeah, definitely your best game, Jace. And I just want to look at what Dixon was because Dixon. Ugh, he, he, we need Dixon. We need Dixon every week. Here we go. Four goals straight. Ten touches. Three marks. Three tackles. Excellent. Excellent. We've got the Crows next week. We've got a lot of our... I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what this week brings with our injuries. We'll see how, how many players we're going to lose. We'll see who can play. Hopefully it's not too bad. But Port Adelaide, tonight... The lid is off for tonight only because it was a hard... Not because you played great, but you were persistent. It's the EXO. You were persistent. You kept fighting. Even though you had four players down, even though your captain was down, you still clutched that win, got the four points. Cheers. And I'll see you all in my next video.